Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So I'm happy to be here again and I'm going to show you how to generate a random number using JavaScript. So now, before I start, I want to talk about, you know, my code a little bit. You'll notice that I have an H3 here and I have given it the ID of placeholder. So I just named it placeholder. You can name it anything you want. And inside of my script, this is JavaScript, by the way, so I'm saying let my H3, so I'm declaring a variable, and I'm assigning that element, so this H3 element, so I'm saying document.get element by ID placeholder. So basically, I have that element saved or stored inside of this H3. All right, so I called it my H3. So now if I want to change the inner HTML, I can say my H3 dot inner html equals to whatever you want so i'm going to say for example john do and as i type that in you'll notice that it will insert you know that text there so it means we have correctly selected that empty h3 here so i'm going to keep it there now i'm going to keep it john do here but right below it we are going to create our a function so we are going to have a function that will generate a random number so create a function you start with the word function and then you add a name to it so i'm going to say for example get random number all right so this is the name of the function and i can say two parentheses and two curly braces so i have you know a function there and we will not use any parameters, so I'm not going to worry about what's inside of the parentheses. And right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another variable. So I'm going to create another variable inside of my function. So I'm going to say, for example, let uh, random number. So random num equals to, so this will be you know, we'll assign the math.random to this variable. So we'll store it inside of this variable. So I'm going to say, for example, math.random, random, all right? Then you open two parentheses, and let's generate a number uh, between 0 and 10. So I can say times, so times 10. All right, so now... We have it here but now you see instead of setting the inner html of this element to john doe we want to uh, you know we want to change it to a, a random number so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my h3 inner html john doe so i'm going to cut that line of code and i'm going to place it underneath in you know underneath this uh random number so i'm going to place it here so i'm going to place it here and right here you see if we call our function so our function is not working yet so we have to call it so to call it you basically type the name of the function and you add two parentheses so you see so we say get random num right here and it should change it so it should add so let me just move this to line 26 yeah, so we have something wrong with our math at random here. So this is the problem that we have. You see, the, there is like a capital random, so it should be a small random. And if your code is clean, you'll notice that it should say John Doe here because we are setting the inner HTML inside of the function. So in, instead of se setting the myh3.innerHTML to John Doe, we will set it to the random number and since you know we are saving that uh, random number inside of this variable so i can simply copy that variable name which is random num and i'm going to place instead of saying john doe i'm going to place that variable there and as i do that you'll know that a random number will be here but as you know it's right here but now every time I have to refresh it and it will generate a number between zero and 10. So, you know, if you want to 
keep calling this function without clicking on refresh, you can simply use something called set interval. So set interval and then you open two parentheses. So inside of the parentheses, you add the name of the function. So I'm going to say get random num and then comma. So now you see it's, it's working, but it's really fast. We can not even see the numbers. So we can put 1000 milliseconds here and it will generate a number, a random number each second. So now you see we have, we are generating a number between zero and 10 because we have times 10 here basically. So now let's use something called math floor to round it because you see we have, you know, our number is so long and you know it's generating a number but let's let's have for example one number here so something happened to my camera sorry about that let me fix my camera okay so now you see um i have it here so I'll, the random number is here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use something called math floor so you see where it says math.random and then two parentheses times 10. We can say math right before it dot floor, all right? And then you add a parentheses here. So what happened to the word math here? So I need, we need math here too, math random. And we want to simply enclose everything there. So you will notice now with the math floor, we are generating a number between zero and 10. So what if we want to not enclose zero? So what you might be asking, okay, I want a number between one and 10. So if you want to add a number between one and 10, you can simply add, you know, at the very end outside of the math floor, you can say plus one. So now our code will basically generate a number between one and 10. So I think this is it for this video, everyone. I hope you like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can leave them below in the comments. And uh, thank you all for your support. I'll see you all in the next videos.